Okay, so for verse and devotion today, um, <clears throat> the verse that we're going to go over is Proverbs 12, 26. And for the, actually the next several days, the Lord's laid on my heart to um, go over how to be a good friend. And this is something that I've been teaching um, the little kids here at our children's church. But this is something that I think even adults need. Um, we get so wrapped up in our everyday busy schedules that I don't even think we think about, you know, are we being a good friend? And the, the question, or actually the point to that is, if you are a Christian, and you say you are a Christian, but you are a horrible friend, why on earth would someone want to be a Christian <laughs> if they know that you're a horrible friend? So, going over Proverbs twelve twenty six, it says, a righteous man is cautious in friendship, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. So what does this mean? I went over this with the kiddos and we were talking about it and boy, they were right on top of these uh, scripture verses and they, they understood it. So this is cool. So as an adult, you need to be teaching this to your kiddos um, and you need to be living it, truthfully. <laughs> Um, so a righteous man, we know what righteous is, it's being good, it's being holy, it's being upright before the Lord, is cautious in friendship. Um, you're going to be careful who you choose as your friends um, because there are people out there that aren't friendly, aren't nice, you know. And then it says, but the way of the wicked leads them astray. So if you get caught up with somebody that's not good news, that does things that are wrong or that are bad, it's going to mess you up spiritually. And it's, that's just not a good friend. Friends that are mean and nasty and do mean things are not, are not good friends. They're not a friend, period. So my answer to them, because I said, what does this verse mean and how can it help you to be a good friend? I said, if you are living your life for Jesus, you will be careful who you choose to be your good friends. People that do bad or slash evil things will lead you down the wrong way that keeps you from Jesus. So be um, informative and always be talking to your kiddos. You know, is that being a good friend? Is that showing, you know, a Christ-like demeanor to your friends? Um, we all get upset. We all get disgusted from time to time. That's part of life. But if, if you're being a lousy friend, that's just not acceptable. And you need to tell, if you have been a lousy friend to your Christian friends or whoever they are, you need to tell them you're sorry and ask for forgiveness because um, Jesus made it very clear is that we are to love each other. And when you call somebody a friend, then you need to love them the way Jesus, you know, loves. So that's the first part. We have several verses to go and we'll do these each day for the next couple days for devotion. But this is something that the Lord laid on my heart, and I feel like we need to, I need to do this to be obedient. Plus, as parents um, and just Christians, we need to make sure that we're being good Christ-like friends. Lord, I fail at this a lot. I do, because I get so busy and wrapped up in what I'm doing every day, and I don't think about so-and-so or, you know, who's out there possibly needing just an ear. Um, so I just ask you, Lord, that you help me to be a good, um, a good Jesus friend to those that need it when they need it. And just to love people right where they're at, you know, even if they're not my friends. Help us to do the right thing and to love and to be a good friend because I want them to see you in me ultimately. So I pray that you help that with, with me and my family and the kiddos that I'm teaching on a weekly basis and help us as parents to teach this to our children. And I thank you and I praise you in Jesus' name.